Thank you, Amelia. We have a couple of actors here to tell you about a great story that has made its way to Webster Groves over at The Rep. Joining us this morning is Christopher Hickey and Michael Tran. We're gonna talk a little bit about murder on the Orient Express. Good morning, gentlemen, how are we doing today? Good morning. Good. How are you today, Ty? We are good, thank you. And I, we were just talking a little before we came on here and you guys said that you're just props on the props as far as it's the, the set and the production is just we, we, that great. We meant that in the best way possible. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. absolutely. That's good because it's going to be yes. aesthetically pleasing and there's going to be some talent as well. Absolutely. 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 So let's talk real quick about what roles you guys play. You play Michelle. Yes, the conductor of okay. the train. My job is to make sure people get from point A to point B safely. Mm -hmm. And there's a murder, so I don't think I did a good job of that. So. <laughs> but you're still employed. You're gonna let you yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, still, yes, still working. And, you're, and how about you? And I am one of the passengers, uh, Scottish Colonel named Colonel Arbuthnot mm -hmm. and uh, a group of very diverse passengers gather on this train in 1934 through the mountains of Yugoslavia and they get stuck in a snowdrift and then as, as murder, Michael just said a murder happens yeah. and everyone's got secrets to uh, be revealed or not by the detective. Right, who yes. is the greatest detective in mm -hmm. the entire world. Yes. Hercule Poirot, played amazingly by Armando Duran. Yes. Okay. Um, he investigates and the audience is there discovering the clues, discovering all these, who these characters right. are. Um, and so you go along for the ride on the mystery. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good ride to be on. How, you guys have had a couple weeks on the show. How's it been received so far from the audience? Really, really well. I mean, the, the audiences have been strong. The reception's been strong. I don't read reviews. Michael's more of that uh, marketing guy. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it, it, I think it's just really, it, there's a lot of laughter in it. There's a lot of mystery. There are a lot wow. of just great elements that I think keep people on their toes. This is based on uh, Agatha Christie's novel, of mm -hmm. course. Um, I think she's maybe the second most read uh, author in the world after, after Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Right? Yeah. Uh, but there, what's great is that this was commissioned, uh, the, the, her estate commissioned a playwright, Ken Ludwig, who has written a number of Tony winning plays and, and other, uh, other scripts to adapt it for the stage in 2017. Mm -hmm. And there are a few elements that are different. So if you've read the book or you've seen other film adaptations or TV adaptations, there are some surprises in store for the audience. Right. We got a show this weekend, right? Yes, Correct. we do. Yes. Okay. Where can yes. people go get tickets and what time? RepSTL.org. We um, run yeah. through April 9th. April 9th. Okay. April 9th. It's so you guys a beautiful got a show. A couple more weeks to yep. work on the craft and, <laughs> right. and have some, some people come in and we can find out who gets killed. Exactly. Right. I want to know exactly. when you're coming, Ty. Oh, sounds like I'm going somewhere this weekend. <laughs> I don't, but I'm going to be back for work okay. on Monday. I'm not the one who gets killed. So. Okay. No, you're not. You're, you're, well, Michael, you're safe. Yeah, thank you for joining us, guys. We yep. do appreciate it. Good luck this weekend. We Great. look forward to getting you guys uh, some more publicity and getting some more people checking out Great. the show. Thanks so much. All right, thank you, guys. Let's get back over to Margie.